I think that might have been one of the fastest concessions I've ever seen. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves10yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another gameplay video. Today we are going to be jumping into some mono green stompy. Very excited for this list, but before we do, if you are not already, please feel free to subscribe. Any newcomers are more than welcome in our community. We have a very, very positive community here at It Resolves and we're very fortunate for that. So thank you to everybody who makes that possible. If you would like to be a part of it, again, subscribe. We do have a little join button as well. If you would like to subscribe to our channel anytime we do live streams, uh, which we're starting to do more often here over on YouTube. Uh, we do have little emotes that you can get and things like that. So please feel free to check that out. But first and foremost, let's talk about the list, guys. Uh, this is Mono Green Stompy taken from uh, MTG Goldfish. You'll notice we do have a full sideboard here, regardless of the fact that we're not really playing the sideboard uh, because we're in best of one here. But Mono Green Stompy got uh, some interesting stuff in the new set. So first and foremost, Unnatural Growth. This card is ridiculous. Enchantment for five, four green and a one. Uh, at the beginning of your co each combat, double the power and toughness of each creature you control until the end of the turn. That's massive. Uh, I mean, that is an absolutely powerhouse card uh, because we do have quite a number of really power or just creatures that are hopefully going to be able to power themselves up here. So very, very interesting to see how that plays out. I have not played with that card quite yet. We also got the uh, Briar Bridge Tracker, which is a 2-3 three for 3 with Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, investigate, and then as long as you have a token on the battlefield, uh, it gets plus 2, plus 0, uh, which is very nice because we also have things like a Seekus Chariot, going to be able to throw some tokens out and stuff like that, as well as Ranger's Class, uh, which is going to be able to do the same. Lotus Cobra is here for a bit of ramp. Inscription is here for just kind of a catch-all spell. I really like the inscription cards. I think they're very good, so it's nice to have one here. Blizzard Brawl, obviously a bit of a removal here. It's be able to fight stuff off, of course. Uh, Werewolf Pack Leader, another personal favorite of mine, a 3-3 three, three for two. Basically going to allow you to draw some cards pretty quickly in a deck like this where we've got tons of damage coming through. Uh, Kazandu Mammoth, a tried and true card. We've seen this for a while now and it's very, very solid in these mono green lists. Uh, the Old Growth Troll, very similar. Uh, if, uh, if it dies, if it was a creature, return it to the battlefield as an aura uh, and enchant a forest you control. That forest adds add two green and one and tap it, sacrifice it, create a 4-4 four, four, uh, troll warrior creature token with trample. So a little bit of resilience there as well but uh, as far as the lands go we've got 21 snow covered forest and four faceless haven pretty straightforward uh, and again I'm really stoked about this card now if you do play it in, in the uh, match play you do have some access to this sideboard here so please do check that out but let's go ahead guys let's jump right in let's see what we can do all right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, this is not that great of a hand, actually. We've got nothing to do until turn three. I'm going to mulligan that. Uh, and this actually like quite a bit more. We've got the Lotus Cobra into the Old Growth Triad plus the Blizzard Brawl. That seems a lot better to me. Um, the question is, what do we keep here? I think we can throw a Forest back and be OK. Uh, what's nice here is we can drop the Lotus Cobra, get the third green to play the Old Growth Troll. Uh, and that's not that big of an issue for us. Ooh. Okay. Um, I still think the play is going to be the Lotus Cobra. Uh, the reason being, this helps us further the resilience game plan of getting that old growth troll out. Now, chances are we might eat a burn spell here, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. That's kind of good. Um, let's do this. We're going to get a green source here. Uh, we'll play this, and then we can actually Blizzard Brawl this to this and just get that out of there. Uh, that's very, very helpful because eventually that card would have been a big problem. Wow, and they gave up already. What? That was amazing. Uh, okay, well, we found the line, guys. <laughs> uh, let's jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game two. I think that might have been one of the fastest concessions I've ever seen. Um, this hand isn't great either, to be honest, and I'm wondering if we should mulligan or if we should just go for it. I'm going to try a mulligan here. 
Um, and yeah, I think we keep this. I'm gonna drop one of the Lotus Cobras back. We really don't need both. Um, I mean, both is good, don't get me wrong, but we don't necessarily need them. I think what we can do is kind of shoot for the same play where we go to into... Oh, perfect. That Blizzard Brawl is so helpful. <laughs> uh, because we can drop a land, get four mana for the turn, drop any of these, probably the Tracker, and then just uh, attack in here. Oh! Oh, very interesting. Okay. Very curious to see what they actually do here. Uh, obviously they can't do anything quite yet, but that's fascinating. Uh, we'll get that green source. Let's drop the tracker. Let's blizzard brawl. Um, we actually can put it here, I suppose. Uh, that allows us to attack in for an extra point of damage here, which is pretty good. All right, and now we've got a pretty threatening board here. They have to play something before they can activate the Pyre, which is fantastic for us, because that's a bit scary, if I'm honest. Um, but it looks like that might not be that big of a problem. All right, uh, let's drop the Mammoth. Play that Faceless Haven here. Uh, we'll go green. Uh, and we actually can attack in here with both. There's no real reason not to, I suppose. I mean, I guess they could have something but nope, they're not. They're going to take it, so that way they can activate this. That's interesting. They do have to sacrifice it. Ooh, what is this? Okay. I uh, haven't seen this in a long time. Uh, has lifeling as long as you have five. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Interesting. That's very fascinating. Okay. Uh, so they did take care of the mammoth there, uh, and unfortunately we're just kind of getting some lands. That's not super helpful. Um, but, uh, do we, do we activate the Faceless Haven? I'm gonna say yes, uh, and I'm gonna offer the trade here. If they wanna, if they wanna trade for this, I'm all for it. Uh, if they don't, they're taking eight. So, like, we're, we're gonna force the issue a little bit. Um, I mean, they can just sack one of these guys off, but, perfect. So they're gonna take four here. Uh, they do get a counter here, I know, but... Um... All right, uh, we're gonna end the turn. We get to leave up the uh, the clue token here, which we may very well need. Oh, that's not good. Okay. That's really not good. Okay, we need to draw a non-land card. <laughs> uh, like, pretty badly here. Um... Yep. So there's probably not a good attack here with the tracker, which is not great for us. Um, that's going to come in for a good bit of damage. Does this have lifelink as well? No. Okay. Let's activate the clue token. We just need to draw a card and hope it's not a land. It's not a land. Um, it's not that great, but it's fine. Let's throw that down. That does power that back up. Let's drop this. Um... And I think, I mean, we do actually get to attack here with the tracker if we would like, which I'm, I'm happy to do. Uh, the reason being, obviously, we do get that token on it. So, I mean, it's something. It's five damage, uh, which chances are, yeah, they're just going to block here. That's fine. That Righteous Valkyrie is going to do major work for them. Yeah. Ah. This is a tricky deck. They're turning all of the, the kills that we get into uh, advantage for them, and we don't have like a Blizzard Brawl that we can deal with this yet. So, oh man. Oh, backbreaking. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna... I hate that it still wants us to activate Faceless Haven. <laughs> like, we're not gonna do that. Um, the only good news here is Ranger Class does kind of help us in the sense that if we can if we can activate it, if we don't draw anything, we can look at the top card of our deck. If it's a creature, we can play it. Theoretically, we might be able to get somewhere, but they're just gaining so much life now, uh, and we don't take flyers into consideration, really. All right. There's another Lotus Cobra. Um, I think we do play it here. There's no real reason not to. Let's play the land. Get green. Get green again. We'll activate this. Oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
So the problem is, again, we can attack in here, but it doesn't really do that much because, I mean, they just kill everything. Um, I think we're just going to die. I mean, they've just got flyers galore, um, and they have exactly 11. So, yeah, unfortunately, we're just dead. We just can't push through that damage. I'm going to go ahead and concede, guys. Uh, let's jump into our next game. All right, guys, here we are for our next game. Uh, and actually, weirdly, I'm going to keep this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to definitely keep this. We've got the Ranger class uh, that we can level up pretty quickly here. We also have that Blizzard Brawl. We can fight something off if need be. Uh, man, a lot of land in this deck. I think this has 25 lands, which seems a bit high in my opinion. I don't, I don't know. That seems a bit high. Um, again, I, we, we pulled this list from Goldfish, um, so we're just trying it out one for one here, but I don't know. That seems slightly high. Uh, given that it doesn't curve out all that high, it feels a little much. Let's, uh, let's play the Ranger class here. Let's get that 2-2 out. Uh, and we'll see what we actually want to do next turn, because we've got plenty of options, truthfully. We can Blizzard Brawl plus uh, level up the Ranger class here, which would be pretty good. Um, alternatively, we can just play Mammoth, all also pretty good here. I mean, we'll see. The opponent kind of taking their time here. Uh, anyway, guys, we're one for one right now. Uh, or we're one and one right now, so we're doing okay. Hopefully we can keep the uh, the wins coming. I'm wondering if the opponent either disconnected or is intentionally. I hate that I think that way. I hate that I think, hey, I wonder if they're intentionally just running the clock down to get a to get a free win. I hate that that's a thing. I think they might be. Um, that's very frustrating to me. I, if you are that kind of person, please stop. Please, please stop. That is so frustrating for everybody involved. Um. All right, so here's what we can do. We can actually kind of do some fun little shenanigans here. So we're going to attack in. They're going to obviously block, um, but then, or maybe they don't. I don't know. Oh, perfect. Well, then we get to Blizzard Brawl and just fight this off here. Cool. We just wasted their turn three. That feels pretty good. Uh, we also are now going to gain extra value off that Ranger class every single time, which feels good. Um, and actually next turn we can just activate it or level it up again if we'd like to. Um, all right. Uh, alternatively, we can play this, level it up, and then it gets two counters, which I kind of like that better. So now it's a 5-5. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I like that the best. Um, that really threatens the Sigarda he here, uh, which is very good. This is obviously a humans build, and man, humans is very, very potent if you can get the stuff out at the right time. I don't feel like this was at the right time. Sigarda is not... Sigarda is very good. However, what makes Sigarda good is the Anthem ability as well as the Coven ability, and neither of those are activated when it's sitting on the battlefield by itself. Um, and so truthfully, not that great. Um, all right, cool. They're going to get our, our five, five out of there. That's kind of okay. <laughs> um, again, we've got two Ranger classes. Oh, they're going to get the other one too. Okay. Hey, yeah, you got it. The important thing is they spent the entire turn removing our stuff though. So that's kind of fine. Um, <laughs> Let's play the Chariot here. This is going to allow us to hopefully spread the damage out uh, as much as we can. Now, they can get in with Sigarda. That's fine. I don't really... It doesn't bother me because they're not getting the activated ability. They're just hitting for four. Um, which is good. Don't get me wrong. It's very good. But it's not going to win the game. Um, they've got the Lunark veteran. That's a good card. Uh, it's going to gain him some life back, uh, which is... Slightly worrisome. Ooh, and the priest. Okay. Yeah, dude, you got it. That's pretty good, um, truthfully. 
And now they do have Coven activated, so they can get a card into their hand if they would like, though they may not want to. Uh, I can see a world where that's not what they want to do. <clears throat> okay, it is. That's fine. Uh, curious to see what they get. It is going to have to be a creature, so it's not going to be like a portable hole or a borrowed time or anything like that. So there's still only going to be one mystery card here. Did they reveal this, actually? Yes, they do. Okay. We're going to take four. Nothing we can do about it. All right. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Uh, that definitely helps. Um, so we can actually do things in a little bit of an odd order here. So we play the old growth troll. We're going to take out the Sigarda. Which is quite good. Um, we're going to activate this by tapping this which then allows all of these to attack in. Uh, which we're going to copy this token, obviously. And then I think we're going to throw both of the counters on the two, two twos here, because that just makes it fairly impossible for them to effectively block. Now, they can still block, but they're not going to... Unless they double up, they're not going to kill anything here. Uh, taking Sigarda out is such a big advantage play, because now they're not gaining advantage every turn. Um... And, I mean, they are still going to gain life off of that veteran, and that Hollowed Priest can become a problem, but if they're only doing one thing per turn, we can actually outpace that, uh, thanks to the Ranger classes here. So, I'm not terribly concerned about it, weirdly. Um, now, truth be told, we actually could have gotten an extra point of damage in here had we activated the Chariot, then used the Blizzard Brawl on the Chariot. Um, but I, I, I think that... Uh, we're, we're potentially arguing semantics there, but every point counts, so definitely something to think about. And now they're down to three. So, that's good. <laughs> um, I don't see them having too many strong plays off the top here. Um, Adeline's good. It's very good. But it's not gonna, it's not gonna save them here, which is fantastic. Uh, we also... Okay, they're gonna portable hole to take out a 3-3? Three, three? Sure, got it. Perfectly fine. And they're gonna attack in, wow. Uh, just to get that extra point of damage here, but or the extra counter here, but that is kind of a bad play because now they're, now they're really far down. Um, so, I think the play is throw this out. We're going to throw this out. We're going to activate the chariot by tapping these two because we just played them and they have no other real use at this point. Um, and then we just attack in with everything. Put a counter here. Uh, this has trample, so I guess we put counters on this, actually. Now we'll put one here. Um, so we're copying this. The two is really just kind of irrelevant here, but I think, uh, I think this makes the most sense. All right, there we go, guys. We got the win. Let's jump into one final game. These are generally pretty quick, so I think we have a little extra time. Let's go ahead and jump into a fourth. All right, guys, this is going to be our final game. Uh, and I definitely think this is a keep. This is a pretty strong one, in fact. Uh, let's see what the opponent wants to do. They're playing on white here. Uh, that's interesting. That makes me kind of want to lead on the pack leader, um, but we'll see. White and black. Maybe not. We'll see. They're going to foretell. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, let's play out the Lotus Cobra. This is always just kind of a strong play. Uh, it's either going to eat a removal spell or it's going to ramp us, so feel pretty good about that. Oh, and that's very good. Um, Perfect, so what we can do here, get this out for green. We can play the Werewolf Pack Leader, and then we can Blizzard Brawl this onto this. Get rid of that Righteous Valkyrie before it becomes a big problem. Uh, and now we just have a Werewolf Pack Leader plus a Lotus Cobra on the field, which is, I think, a fairly solid play. <laughs> um, if we draw a land, we can actually really do some cool stuff, but we'll see. Linvala. 
Haven't seen Lin Bala for a while. That's interesting. Uh, let's do this. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna throw out the Ranger class, I think. I'm actually gonna go ahead and activate this. Um, and I'm gonna swing in with both here. We're gonna make this a 3-2, uh, a so they can both kill Invala if we'd like, or if they'd like to, to trade here. They very well might for the pack leader. Oh, but we got a Linvala off the field, which I think is very important. Uh, and crucially, Ranger class does allow us to eventually just get more stuff off the top of our deck here. So that's not that big of a worry. Um, now we can do the same thing again, if we would like. Uh, or we can seek his chariot. I think I'm going to chariot. This comes with its own pair of tutus, which is kind of nice. Um, and I'll actually attack in here. And if they want to, if they want to block, that's fine. I don't really care. We have to sacrifice a creature, but we've got plenty that we can sacrifice, so it's not really that big of a deal. Sure. Sack one of these guys. I'm kind of trying to one for one everything that they do as best I can here. Um, I feel like that's very important for us. They could have a Doom Scar. No, it's not a Doom Scar. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna activate this. I'm gonna Blizzard Brawl. Taking out one of these. Now we do have to sacrifice to do it. That's fine. Uh, resolve. Sacrifice this. Let's play another Ranger class. Uh, and I will attack in here. This is gonna give us a, a token as well as put a counter on the chariot. So even if they do block here, we just get we we basically netted nothing, so that's kind of okay. Um, but they're not gonna do it. They're just gonna take the six. That's a big swing. Um, but I'm cool with it. I truthfully don't even know what Limbala does. Uh, if you have a full party. Okay, they don't have a full party. Why is Limbala in here? Is this just Angel Party? I I don't know. Uh, interesting, interesting. Um, <laughs> we have so many Ranger classes. Um, let's activate this. Let's throw out another Ranger class, because why not? Um, let's activate you. And we can actually attack with these two here. Um, we'll make a copy here. We'll put two tokens here. So that way, if they decide to block with either of these creatures, they just die. They can kill the chariot if they double block, uh, but we actually just have another chariot. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of OK. And they are going to double block. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm going to just kill the 4-4. Again, we have to sack a creature, that's fine. We'll sacrifice the Taft one, and at this point, I mean, we've got four creatures to their one, uh, as well as two Ranger classes that are active. Yeah, there we go. Heck yes! What a deck. What a deck, what a deck. All right, uh, let's chat about it. All right, so uh, Mono Green Stompy, man, uh, coming in clutch. That was a pretty solid string of games. Obviously, we did lose one, I believe, out of four if I'm recalling correctly, but overall pretty good. Uh, Mono Green Stompy is very, very powerful right now. There are a lot of things built into it, like the Chariot, which is just an all-star card. Being able to, to copy tokens, uh, take advantage of the tokens that you've got is massive. Uh, but on top of that, it also did get a number of new things. Now we didn't actually get to see 
uh, the big enchantment come down, doubling all the attack and and or the power and toughness. But I don't I don't think it needs it. I feel like it's a win more card. Um, it's a very good win more card. Don't get me wrong, but I didn't think it was needed. We did okay without it, and I'm pretty happy with this. So I loved it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up, please. That would really mean a lot. Uh, and until next time, guys, we are gonna try and stream. Uh, again on YouTube we may have already by the time this comes out uh, so please do check that out if you were not uh, if you didn't get to hang out with me during that stream I'd really appreciate it but regardless guys thank you so much for joining our community for watching really does mean the world to us but until the next time guys I'll see you later